because we've got to let her in, haven't we? That's for nice and that's done. Let's get some stretches done, guys. Just been talking to Ali, and we've got a little bit, a little bit of blue sky. So we're going to run outside and just get some rays. All right. Awful weather. Not good, but we don't care. Let's bring some sunshine in. Let me adjust my camera. That's from yesterday when I was down on the floor, getting down and dirty with the worm catchers. That was this morning, wasn't it? Let's get a breath in then. Hands up and out, turn the palms up, and straight away, let's turn the palms towards the ceiling, open the fingers up, imaginary fruit balls in the hands, push the arms out. Want to feel a stretch in the shoulders, guys, cross, cross the top of the pecs. Big deep breath in. Exhale down to the heart. Elbows high, straight away, first off, three second push in, go. Two, three. Going to hook those hands back over and pull apart nicely, go. And two and three, and arc those hands down, shake them out, hold the thumb, rotate the shoulders to the rear, and we're rotating back to the front. Once we've done our session, guys, which I've got there, we're done, we're done, no extra, no extra surprises, anything like that, okay? Take the hands up and out, palms towards me, welcome to our space, welcome to my little world, and gently rotate it around, relax the feet, let the feet go to the insteps and the outsteps, that's not a problem, gently push those hands around, feel a draft over the arms as we rotate left and back right again, good, and gently just keeping that going, a few more of those, last one this side, last one that side, back towards me, drop the hands to the side and left or right, gently lean over. Always, as we know, two spinal mobilization exercises before any exercise. Therefore, you've got to think, I should do two in the mornings after I get up before I do anything, because all movement, isn't it? Bring up and lean over your side. Now, the art that we could do, you could do a bicycle chain or do whatever. I found that the rotation and the side to side bend of eight seconds it's just a nice one to do, it's habit forming. Bring it back up, guys, hands to the hips. Let's just gently rotate the hips around. Not super slow, not a leading hip. Just rotate it around and back the other way. That's the standard hip rotation that everybody does. We take it further during the week, don't we? Round we go, three, two, and a one. Point the finger out, guys. This is a stretch, so hand to here. We're going all the way around, breathe in. Exhale, relax those feet again. Put your skis on inside the blade, outside the blade. Rotate that around. Dairy leeches, wedges straight away, pointing to the rear. Two and one. And we undo and rotate that arm around. People are going visiting. They've got people visiting them as people having little breaks and that. You know what? About eight, nine out of ten people are still wanting the catch-ups. Hands to here. Well done, you guys. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, taking it around. We go in steps to out steps and take it around. On the COVID thing, guys, stay safe. Do what we've all been doing. It's out there and in some places, it's actually worse than what it was when we're in our lockdowns. I don't know people going on holiday, but people being ill and it's spreading. Two, one, unwind, bring it back and circle those arms around one way, and then back around the other way. We're liking that one. Any foot you want to, bring it forwards onto the heel, toe towards the shin, stick the butt out. I'm taking this to eight out of 10 on the uncomfortable score. I'm gonna hold it. Two, one, big deep breath in. Exhale, and I'm gently increasing that to 15 now. Down we go. That feels good. Back of the hamstring, down the leg. The body is still tilting forward. Even when I come to finish the stretch, in two and one, up we come. That was still slowly increasing, and that's a good sign as well. Other foot coming forward. Eight out of ten initially. Bending forwards. Tightness in the calf. That's easing off. Toe towards the shin. Keep it at eight. So it comes down to a seven. I'll bend forward a bit more. Hands on the hips makes, makes the hinge, the hinge, the hips act like a hinge. Big deep breath in. Exhale and increase that to the 15. Feel it in the lower back and the 
spine and the pelvic floor area and we know it's feeling good and doing us good stuff for two and a one and relax from there and shake it all out guys bit of whiplash in the wrist and a bit of whiplash in the feet okay bringing the hands to here and start bringing those knees up aiming for the forearms there we go so all strength guys. now in the isometrics with the bands at their maximum i'm not live with you so i can't watch and this be careful when you put going up to especially the look they're doing, doing the legs and the squats you put too much on it, oh, I can just about move it. It's up to 75% or three, half, 50% of a squat. We come do that as well. Take the legs up and out, put the hands back to the hips. Circle them out. All right. So you're looking at 80%. And out to in. Three, two. And a one. One size fits all band. I've got a red on, and this is to get the body and the elasticity going into the muscles. Open the tissues up to make sure we're ready because it's all give and go, and then I know we're all nicely warmed up, guys. So I've got my red band. I'm putting the band on the floor, in steps into the band, in steps together. Good. I had a couple of people not sure about if they wanted bands or didn't want them to die while I'm on it today, and I've got the request prize today, so I'm ordering those bands this evening. If anybody else needs bands, let me know, guys, quickly, because tonight I'm ordering. So from there, guys, I've got the bands there. Dip it down underneath. I'm taking my elbows up that position there, and I'm just gently taking those squats down and back again. So it is a stretch. It's a stretch under stress, because, of course, it is. That's what working out is. Down and going back. I'm thinking on the toilet, off the toilet, gently down. I'm going to do three more. There's one, and back, and two. And back and three and back up. Take the band off, step away, rotate the shoulders round, give the legs a nice shake out. Okay, standing back in again. I've got my, you know, if you don't have one step, one foot on the band if you want to, or two, it's entirely down to yourself, guys. Okay, I'm going for two. It's a big posture one, gets the spine going as well, and it's the upright roll to there. Remember the position of the elbows, and that's it there. Nice and gently up and down to there and this is the movement for people who have been holiday in uk this year because everybody's on the beaches pumping up air beds canoes dinghies those things you stand on and paddle boards that's it there three and two and one and i've seen some rice tapes of people looking like they're going to have a little problem with their heart because that's the exercise they've done all year. One hand only, placing the foot in. Grip's gonna be the front, like a little crocodile, that way. Thumb through the front there, guys, okay? Up we go, and it's there. And you know what, there's not a lot on that. I mean, it's hardly anything, but it's pumping up and down, it's getting everything going. The heart rate is coming up, going back down. Fantastic, three, two, and a one, I'm going to change that back over. So nice and light, and it's a great way to get nicely warmed up, guys. Into there, thumbs to the front, it's to here, and I'm pressing again with the other hand, getting that going. And I reckon after this one, we've let the body know what we're going to be doing. Looking good. There. It just I just caught notes of the clock. Again, it's a 10-minute. Works uh, pre warp and stretch we've done always works out that way. That's done, guys. Rotate those shoulders around, shake the hands out. It's muscle strength endurance, it is asymmetric, it's big energy transferred to our skeletal system, rubbing the back of the wrist, wiggling those fingers. And I'm putting on here now my black and blue band, handles either end. I know the other week I changed it. I've got ankle strap there just in case, and there's no rush with this, okay. Is that clipped on? No rush, he says, panicking, trying to get it clipped on because you're all stood there waiting for me. <laughs> okay, that's on. That's on. So I know for my symmetrics, that is my maximum. Okay, have come across a site, guys. They do big, thick orange bands like that. So I might get, a, might get some of those. So I can put one of them on maybe instead of all these bands. 
I'll let you know and keep watch this space. All right, here we go. One foot only into the band. There. All right. One foot backwards. So what we're doing is it's a front dip, if you like. We're opening with a dip, big one, active beast. Little crocodile holding it there. Coming down to that position there, kneeling. And I'm going to stand and I'm going to bring myself, sorry, not crocodile, scrub the last bit. Hand underneath like a normal pickup, all right? Palms facing upwards. Bring the bands to here so nice and comfortable. And I'm going to take that knee off the floor, but I'm going to come up about a foot, I think. And I'll turn there so I can see you. Excellent. Watching the clock. This is 15 seconds. Four, three, two, one. It's there. Hold. Halfway. Now, little give and go. Only a couple of inches. There. You can see my movement. See the grip that we've got. Three and two and one. All the way down. Then I'm going to stand up and shake it out, okay? Polish the, the grip was, if I've done the grip, that increases stuff, the bands want to come forwards, okay? So the hands, this way, the hands are pulling into us. If I rotate it, they want to go that way. We want this one for that. Okay, good. Okay, other foot then. Active beast with bands. Doesn't that sound mean? Sounds like something you won't order from a Chinese takeaway. Okay, the fried, fried rice. They're active beast. I'm in, guys. We're ready. So I'll be about halfway, not understand all the way. Two, one, here I go. I'm there on the toes, back foot, now dipping down. There. And just keep that going. I'm only moving what, two and a half, three inches maximum. And I can feel that work already. Heart rate up, respiration rate up. Three and two and one. Down we go. Undo, walk away, shake the legs out. Now, it just so happens that this morning, bad plan on my side, I did a leg workout this morning with some weights, okay? I'm like that. i got licorice legs going on already. My fault. Back in again. This is going to be 20 seconds. We're increasing five each time. Okay. All right. Right foot back in. I moved a bit closer to the camera. Look, there we go. There. Got it? It's like trying to stand spaghetti sometimes, isn't it? Sometimes it just works, other times it's like, will that band stay still? Okay, active beast, back knee coming off the floor. Now, there, now give and go, there. When we very first started this first session, we went twice through, then we did a little bit of give and go in some movements, not all. Mid to lower spine is now working hard with that. There, different muscle groups being recruited. What's the balance? Three and two. And one lower the knee down. Up we come. Body sculpting, body toning, guys. Well, two favorite words, isn't it? Change your body shape, make us super strong and powerful. Big deep breaths. Don't wait for me to say to breathe in. Hold and breathe out. You go and do when you need to. Change this straight over, other foot. Working hard. I've got a set amount. See, that's how I want like spaghetti. Left foot's working harder. That's my right knee. We're ready. Good. In three, two, one. That knee's coming up. I'm about halfway. Get my balance now and give and go straight away. There. So it's a, a firm grip on the handles. Don't squeeze the death out of it. But down we go. That's great. Feel the knees working. Ankles, hips. Fantastic. Count down for three and two and one. And we lower down and we come up. And you may feel like your quads are gonna burst, okay? Give them a shit. Sometimes you do this when you want to get your hands up. Oh, it's like rock the whole for the legs. Okay, good stuff. Football season starts this weekend, yes! Not really. That's what you get through supporting a team like Newcastle, I suppose. Your motivation, and, the, and it is on TV. Oh, you couldn't pay five pounds for me to now TV to watch this. I don't think so. Those days are over. Here we go, guys. This is in. This is 30 seconds. Now be a machine. Here we go. Put my foot back in. Don't pull faces at me. I've seen that. Down we go. There. Big effort. Here we go. And up I come now. 
give and go now. There. Just keeping that the same. Same movement. Thinking about the breathing. Now you're probably going to feel the sides of your chest opening up. What started with the hamstrings and quads. It was working full body. Now you can feel it's full body. 10 seconds left. Well done. All still there. What a group. Fantastic. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Stand up, guys. We'll have a bit longer to recover from that one. So brilliant. Full 360. Big muscles in the legs. Lots of calories being burned. Working super hard and everybody cracked it. Like it. Bring it back in. There. I'm getting ready for one of baby's special coffees, I think. I haven't had one today. I wish I had of. Back down, guys. Last one, and this goes to bed three times through. Hands to there. Back knee coming off the floor. Now. Give and go. Now. There. Dipping. There. Nice, controlled, keeping it going. So remember, if you're a bit a bit behind because of the internet or whatever, once I've finished, you carry on finishing yours. You've got time before we start the next exercise, guys. If it's a case of the internet goes wrong for whatever reason, you need to watch it again. Text me, ask for the link. Count down four, three, two, all the way down. Release and stand up and walk it around. If you can't feel that on the legs, there's something not right with you, okay? You're taking a substance you shouldn't be taking, basically. Give those legs a shake out. All right, putting the bands down. Let's get some breaths in because the body needs it. That's a massive, massive lift, okay? Hands up and out. Turn them up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Squish the hands out. Turn them up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Keep it flowing. Squish the hands out. Turn them up, breathe in. Exhale to the heart. Pause, hold, thumbs on the sternum above the heart, two and one, and arc that one down. We like it. I'm keeping all three bands on here because we know it doesn't matter if the bands stretch or if they don't, all right? And if they do, it's only gonna be minimal. We're gonna come up to the upper body, we'll give the legs a rest, then we'll go back to legs again. All right, so that's the distance there. Fist width, okay, there's my three bands there. I'll just show you, look. I know you'll know anyway. That is my 100% there. That's give and go. It's hardly anything at all. But you're going to feel it way up here. Deltoids are going to love it, guys. You can walk down the beach like this. People will be looking at your arms. And the tattoos that you've got. Okay. <laughs> all right. Soft knees. Long arms. First one. We're doing three. We're going to bring them into the chest eventually. This is 10 seconds, 100%. Go there. Give and go now. In, 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 in. That's only moving about, I'd say, a centimetre either side. That's one and one is two. Even I can work that one out. Two, one, and relax. That movement there, coming in, it's radiating through, down the chest, through the sternum, feel the core working deep in here and getting pulled in as well. Shake the hands out. Shake the grip out. Good. Right, long arms, halfway this time, same grip. Keep the elbows, see the elbows there, not elbows down, not up, now some parallel to there, see that? That's it, good, ready? 10 seconds, three, two, one. Go, 100%, give and go now. Now you're gonna get a bit of movement now. The band will open up a little bit more because you've got more strength, you've got more recruitment of muscles. There, keep pulling, go. Go, go, two, one, and relax it down. This is doing your grip. You've got to squeeze those bands, so it's fantastic for the hands and the grip. You'll be tearing jars off. We'll have to unscrew, guys. You'll just tear it off the top of different jam jars and whatever else. Okay? All right. I can actually feel that in my forearms. Give <laughs> a bit of a wiggle out. Okay, same distance. Hands are in now. The back of those thumbs, the knuckles are touching the chest. Position the hands, All right? So it can be it's there, not up and not down. 10 seconds, ready? Two, one, 
Go. Give it a go now. There. In. There. Now feel the difference. That's coming up into the neck, right round the shoulders. Scapula's being worked. Go. 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 Two. One. And relax it down. And give that a nice shake out. And off we go the legs. Talking of legs, let's go back downstairs, guys, to the legs. Both handles. We're going to do one of those ones that I've got into recently, which I always do with, with bands. You can't do it with anything else. I've seen people try and do it with um, dumbbells and kettlebells. It's one foot only into the band and bring the feet out for a normal lift. So just wider than the hips. We go down to squat position, lift it up. Work that straight line. Don't let the body get pulled over one side or the other. It actually is fantastic from accessibility of the core. Make one side work a little bit harder. We change it over and balance it out. So that's the handles there, taking it down. Underneath, halfway squat position. That's difficult enough to hold. Give and go now. There. How long does this photo? took? Oh, five minutes. There. Good. There. Keep it going. 15 seconds. Going to be. There, good, dip, 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 five, good, two, one, all the way down, stand it up, undo those arms. But I'm going to feel that in the mid back, so I'm feeling one there. Right, drop your shoulder blade level, bottom of the scapulas, working super hard. If that becomes uncomfortable, you, you know, guys, you've been lifting long enough now to think. That's a bit too much. I've got too much, too much resistance on there. Easy off, okay? All right. Other foot coming in to here. All right. Balanced off. Stance. Dipping it down. Watching the clock. Two, one. Up we come halfway. And give and go now. There. Just dip it down. I'm sweating already, so you must be glowing. There. Dip. Dip. Oh, I've got a quick story on that. Dip. Dip, dip in a second. Good. I can't tell stories and do it at the same time. There. Countdown. Three, two, one. Dip it down. And off we go. Uh, she won't want to tell me, telling you. Lady uh, finished her Nordic walking course today. She's joining us on the Thursday, that Thursday call. And she's got a con medical condition where she doesn't sweat. She just glows. And I was like, well, you are right in the team there then. Just just glowing, <laughs> fantastic. So she's, she was one of us before we even one of us ourselves. Fantastic. All right, and there we go. Other foot coming back in. We're working hard, guys. We're keeping this floor. Remember when we're done, we are done. It's Friday, let's get that Friday crunchy feeling. Bringing the feet out, nicely balanced. Dipping it down, hands underneath. Count down, two, one, I'm up halfway. Brilliant, give and go now. There. And just that gentle dip. Well done. Every, we're all, it's all working together now, guys. Every single one. Good stuff. This is 20 seconds. Good keeping it going. Last one will be 30. Same as before. We did the legs on the first exercise. Seems like years ago. Two. One, dip it down. And there, step away. Good. And shake it out. If you haven't started the challenge, guys, and you're thinking, oh, I wish I had of, let me know. I've still got the class. I'll send them out to you. This week's resistance class, if you haven't done it, but you like doing your bands, challenge or not, if you haven't done it, you want the link, let me know. You can all, it's, it's a good one-size-fits-all, good class, good session, guys, all right? You can do maximum bands. You can do one-size-fits-all, remember, where it's all speed one to the other, which is perfect for click and play a non-live class. Other foot then, dipping it down, hands underneath. Ready? I'm standing now, halfway. Give and go now, there, good. And I am gonna have the biggest drink of water after this. Been drinking all day, dipping it down, there, good. Count down, three and two and one, dipping it down. Standing away, good. And that feels good, that feels good. Back's working hard, but it's working up the spine. It's radiating across the back into the rib cage. I'm shaking those hands out. Back to the upper body in a second. Robin Hood standing by to come in. Haven't seen you seen both for a little while, have we? Okay, 
putting this one to bed then, foot comes in, finish off a big, big leg workout. Down we go. Hold, two, one, position, go. There, 30 seconds, dip, 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 dip. Whites of the eyes and be a machine. There, and keep that going, good. Dip, dip, dip. Now you feel it working hard. Now we're machines. Excellent. 10 seconds left. Good. There. Oh, that's burning. Lactic acid is definitely building up. Two, one, and take it down. Done. Shake it out, guys. So lactic acid, when you feel the muscle burning, it's just that, oh, oh, I'm gonna put my hands inside and rip it out. Lactic acid, and that is the waste from muscles, which isn't getting taken away by the by the blood, because it's working so hard, okay, it's supplying them, and it's just shaking those out, and it's control that lactic acid, which makes us athletes and higher athletes than a normal person, because a normal person in the street has heard of lactic acid, and will probably go along to a home brew shop or a pharmacy and ask for some tablets because they don't know what it is. Dip it down, guys, to here. Last one, it goes to bed. In two and one, position and go. There, dip, good. Last 30 seconds on this. In fact, not 30 seconds now, is it? It's there, good. And dip, and dip, and dip, and dip, and there. Excellent, good. 10 seconds left. And as soon as I take 10 and say that, it starts working even more. I know I can feel it. Be a machine. Three and two and one, dip it down. Up we come. Shake it out, put the bands down for a second. Good. Walk it around, guys. Shake the hands out, relax the legs down. Give them a shake as well. The legs like it. Coming back in, facing one another. Knee trembler. Feet hip width apart and get those knees going in and out as fast as you can. And we want that wobble to go down to the calf so you know we don't like seeing our legs or want to see them wobbling. But on this one, we do. It's a good thing for three and two and a one. Hands up and out. Turn those palms up. Big breath. Exhale. Squish. Again, up, breathe. Exhale, one more, squish, up, breathe. Exhale. Good, itch the nose. I haven't bought a lottery ticket yet. How does me know, how does it do that? How does it know on a Friday, I haven't bought a lottery ticket? Let's start itching. So many things I don't understand. Okay. We're going for biceps. We sometimes finish with this one. We're going to biceps next, okay? Then it's going to be big posture one. We're going to join stuff together. So the hand is going to be, that's the start position there, okay? I'm going to hold it, and I'm going to take it 45 and back to here. That's the position there, all right? So tester is there. Can I get it to here? Yes, and we're happy. Ready. 10 seconds. That point first. That point, now give and go, one, there. And the 10 seconds started from the first position. So we are three, two, one, and done. Watch where the foot is, get that feeling, because if you can increase, fantastic. But if you start leaning over or forwards, it's too much, you ease it off. Other foot is in. This has been a session, guys, an example of minimal exercises, but massive full body workout. I know we can feel it. Here we go. Position one and two. Give and go now. There. Good. Hand my hip. I'm a little teapot. <laughs> Good. No, you look like something else. Though. Yes, I know what I look like. Two, one. Relax it down, guys. Good stuff. We like that one. Good one to do. Swapping it straight over. All 10 seconds, guys. Putting my foot in. More or less same place. First position is there. Second, 45, and give and go now. Between the two, there. Good, liking that. Shoulder, 
So it feels trying to put some eggs up, but I'm trying to pull that all down, keep it nice and upright. Pecs working hard. Two, one, it's back down again. There. Rotator cuff, shoulder, the stick held on the side of our body, basically. The mechanism to hold that, massive strengthening. First position this side, there. There, give and go now. There, working, 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 good. There. I bet after this, you're walking around having a look at your biceps and your reflection. Bet you do. Two, one, back down. Here. And why not? Guys, you're working hard. Look, use mirrors. That's what they're for. Look at your posture. How am I walking when the chest's up there? Look at the posture there. Oh, look at the work on this muscle and bicep. Do it. Why not? Back in. I don't, but you can. <laughs> okay. That's why people wonder when you go shopping, talk, why are people all in the shops and you're outside? Because there's windows and they're like mirrors. All right. Here we go. Last one. This side, it goes to bed. First position. Second, give and go. There. I can actually on this one, my glutes are starting to engage, guys, and I can feel that in my left calf as well. Three, two, one, back down again. An isometric blows out the wall, so this theory some people have is it has to be a full movement all the way. No, it doesn't. Okay, goes to bed after this one. First position, second, and there, one. Now, I'll put this one in now, not last, so it's not rushed. We rushed it last week, that's my fault. There, in, three, two, one. And we like that and shake it out. I said Robin Hood was there, didn't I? Oh, spot on. Gordon. Oh, I've got to stop saying Gordon Bennett because you'll never guess what. There's a lady coming north walking next week and guess what her last name is? It's Bennett, all right? So I've got to think of a different name. <laughs> okay, I'm going to slip up, aren't I? You just know I am. Okay, the handle's here. Long arm. And the grip is there. I'm that far away from the bands, all right? And I turn my hand. What's the hand grip? Oh, boxing. There we go. I turn the hand grip there, all right? I've got a glass bowl there, guys. I've touched it and everything. I just get this in. I hear a bell. I've got to stop boxing people. Nice and straight. Twice either side. Ten seconds. Go, pull, give and go now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, done. Change hands over. Good. We're there. It's short, sharp, and snappy and powerful. Straight arm, give and go. Now, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and in. Straight over, other arm, it's here. Working hard. News of the world finish, remember that one. Ready? Pull now, give and go now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit weak tonight, a bit fortnightly, too weak. Ready, pull, go, give and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That one's gone to bed. And we join it together. Anybody think I planned it? Here we go. Both feet, center of the bands, in steps together. Bring the handles to here. Imagine it is one handle, upright rowing. Ready? That's as far as I can go. You go to your maximum. I can't go any further, guys. I'm at maximum. Ready? Give and go now. From there, there. Good, there. Good. And three, and two, and one, and then back down again. Now, last time we did this, I reduced the bands and brought it right to here. But this, I want it halfway, or wherever your band goes to your maximum. Okay? Right. Two left. Ten seconds. Ready? Go. There. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back down again. Feel that's working differently where your spine curves in, where the curve comes in and back at the tailbone, that's where we're getting that effect. Last one, then I press the magic button and we have a cup of tea. Go. 
Give and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I've got wobbly legs. I'm all sweating. You're all glowing. That was a huge class, guys. Magic button coming in. You are unmuted. Remember, you want to do a quick extra one. I've been getting asked people saying, Tug, I want to put an extra one. What, what, what you, it's what you like. Whatever class you like, and, or can I have a recording of one of those? One of those? Ask me and I'll send it to you guys, okay? <laughs> but if you're doing the challenge, you want your strength up, you're thinking, okay isometrics because it's short sharp and snappy you can do one two three four exercises use bands or not friday crunchy feeling one and only tomorrow morning that was amazing and a big clap for you guys brilliant you guys watching this on catch up later pick anybody on the screen and follow them good stuff guys be safe i like that thanks thank you, thank you. Bye. Bye. catch you later thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.